Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM insured Muni Bonds. Welcome back to the exchange. Rick Santelli here live on the SIBO floor with a special guest, Matt Fabian from Municipal Market Analytics. You heard Sully. There's some opportunity potentially in the Muni space, and Matt's the guy to talk to. Matt, welcome. Hey, Rick. Thanks. Listen, there, there's a tale of two Muni markets right now, and it's all about banks and the types of institutions that used to be big players in certain parts of the Muni curve that don't seem to be playing anymore, and that may afford some opportunities. Tell us about that. No, no, that's no, that's totally right. So, you know, the individuals, right? The demand for muni bonds has been um, um, dominated through the through the fourth quarter, through uh, the, the the first part of this year, by individuals, households buying into either directly through family offices or separately managed accounts. They're buying bonds just like they used to. Things are scarce. They know, right? They can get three percent, three and a half percent. F, that's a taxable equivalent of like six, seven percent with minimal default risk. The rest of the market, the banks, you know, banks have backed away. Banks, you know, got hurt, right? They, 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 uh, uh, when the Fed started to raise rising rates. interest rates, rising yes. interest so rates, insurance companies banks, don't with the have banks the money. Backing, with the banks backing out of that space, what should investors be looking at? And normally banks look at a lesser quality. Uh, what about the quality we're looking at with respect to whether it's investment grade or not? No, no, for sure. So, you know, typically individuals want, you know, 10 year bonds or so. Think about going out just a little bit further. And instead of going for your double A or triple A rated bonds, think about getting, you know, maybe a little bit lower on the on the credit curve as well. So long as you're staying within sort of traditionally safe sectors, high grade sectors, your default risk is going to be really low. You know, I like that. Traditionally safe sectors. So we're most likely talking about what? The GOs, uh, utility revenue bonds. What types of uh, areas are you looking at very specifically and quantify how many defaults we've had in some of those uh, spaces that you like? I mean, we've had very few. So heading into the pandemic, right, we expected that there would be lots more trouble, right? All the headlines, all the news, you know, work from home, commercial real estate, all these things, but it hasn't happened. You know, we had in the past four years, since 2021, there have been five or six muni bond uh, uh, defaults in these sort of sectors, geo bonds, safe sector utilities, things like that. That's out of a universe of about 25,000. So five or six out of 25,000 defaulted, that's not many. No, and it sounds like opportunities. So what type of returns are we talking about? And this is the last question. How does potentially the Fed timeline of interest rate cuts affect that? Your final thoughts, Matt. Well, this is the thing. Once the Fed starts to cut rates, I'm assuming more of the institutional money will come back in. And so that could, you know, so that could really tighten up the market and remove the opportunity that's there right now ahead of it. And again, you're looking at maybe three or three and a half percent um, tax tax free, which is like six, six and a half percent uh, after, you know, a taxable equivalent, a corporate bond that you would have to buy would have to give you six, seven percent with you know minimal what? default. Real risk. quickly, Matt, I'm going to stretch this out. We're going to get one more question. Are there any states or areas of the country that you would prefer and any that you might want to avoid? Final thought. Sure. I like Texas. I like Ohio. Um, I like New York. Um, even even California has some opportunities. Avoid uh, consider um, avoiding Missouri, Alabama, and absolutely the Virgin Islands. Excellent, Matt Fabian. It's always interesting to talk to you, managing director of MMA. Please join me again in the future, Sully. Back to you. Thanks, Rick. All right, Rick and Matt. Thank you very much. By the way, before we go here on the exchange, check out shares of Illumina. Reuters reporting that Carl Icahn has dropped his threat to challenge their board of directors. Shares right now down about 4% on the news. CNBC reached out to Illumina. They have declined to comment. That does it for us. I'll see you tomorrow here. But again, tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 Pacific on. Last call, Power Lunch, up next. America is strong. And today's investments in essential American infrastructure make it even stronger. Build America Mutual only insures U.S. municipal bonds, providing an added layer of security to improve any portfolio 
with guaranteed income that helps investors reach their goals. Be part of building America. Build a better portfolio. Invest in BAM-insured bonds.